Hi there. Sir, if you want to come through, I'm gonna have to pat you down. You like that spy stuff, pal? Sure you do. Everybody loves that stuff. Good. You're clean and good to go. Oh, Mr. Kazim. I'm glad you changed your mind. Arrogance can be a dangerous trait. Yes, indeed, it can. Mr. Ingram has been expecting you. We have a conference room set up for you. Greetings, sir. Please, go in and make yourself comfortable. Mr. Ingram good will day be to with you shortly. Thank you. How are you, sir? Please, make yourself comfortable. I'll get straight to the point. I have a, well, let's call it a dispute, which the Royal Highness tells me you're very capable of taking care of. Now, I've worked with your organization before, in Morocco, I believe, so I'm a little hesitant. Don't be. We do what's needed. Well, only time will tell. I have two assignments for you. Take care of the first one, and then we can discuss the bigger fish. Now, on to the first. An acute problem has been brought to my attention. Keep talking. I'll be candid with you. No one is supposed to know that I'm here. However, there's a journalist down at the inauguration, and he's asking rather intrusive questions about who's staying up here, and that is a very dangerous problem for me. Now, I want you to silence this little pain you think you can do that? It's what I do best. I like your bluntness. This is his file. Hans looked. Pulitzer winning freelance journalist. He's good. And won't give up until he gets the answers he needs. And that can't happen. Consider it done. Good man. And remember, I want a picture. I want proof so I can sleep tonight. Of course. Once this little assignment is completed, come back and talk to Miss Toad. Then we can discuss the real cancer that needs to be removed. I'm sure you can see yourself out. That's Carl Ingram, Providence partner and brass balls billionaire. A legendary political fixer, Ingram is old money and as rotten as they come. 
Looking good. Excuse me. I was wondering if you could help me. Upstairs. Mr. Lund, I hear you're looking for information. Oh, really? Okay. You know what's happening upstairs? I know more than you could imagine. But we can't talk here. Follow me. Great. Lead the way. Hello, sir. to take the installation in at your own pace. Hey, I come here too. I see what you're doing. You're trying to distract me. It won't work, buddy. I'm a Pulitzer Prize winning journalist. I'm not following you anymore. You are wasting my time. Goodbye. Wait for me here. I'll be back as soon as possible. All right. Whatever it is, better be good. Mr. Looked, I think I might be able to help you. Follow me. We need to find somewhere more quiet. What? You do? Great. Lead the way. Yes, that's it. Now Ingram trusts you, it's like shooting fish in a barrel. Hey, man.
Mr. Kazim, welcome back. So, you have the picture? Yes, here. Good. Our guest will be delighted. Please follow me. He's waiting. Mr. Kazim, please, follow me. And how are you today, sir? I hope you have had time to see the art exhibition. His Royal Highness has a keen eye for the arts. If you haven't yet, I highly recommend it. Generations of talent that would have flourished this has now. been his royal highness's dream I, just I think for even way. longer than I have known him or America everything down. here is completely self-sufficient electricity internet even water is cleaned and reused it's the first of its kind on this scale it was important for him to look to the future Sir. Please. Mr. Ingram is expecting you. Mr. Cassim, so good to see you. Do you have the picture? Yes. Your problem is fixed. How are you? Omar said you were good. Let's get down to the important business at hand. Okay, people, clear the room. I need to discuss some delicate business with Mr. Kazim. Perfect. Oh, sorry, we have Excuse Ingram right where we want him. Yeah, just Forty-seven. You, you know what to do. Have a drink. See the view. It's something to behold. Now where was I? Oh, that's right. My man here will stay for the meeting. I assume that will not be a problem. Either way, you have no choice in the matter. It's interesting we haven't come across each other before, Mr. Kazim. Well, maybe not. I usually have my people talk to people like you. I can imagine. I don't know how much Omar, I mean, the Royal Highness, no need to panic. has told you. But my guess is very little, so let me get straight to the point. My organization has been hit by an unpleasant cancer that can only be removed by cutting it out of the gut. If you get my drift. Yes, I do. Good. This little turd is spreading his vile, toxic cells, and I want him stopped. Brutally. Chemo won't remove him. Only the knife. I have his file here. Arthur Edwards. A sly devil. Quite something. 
<laughs> Sometime. We got them, 47. Soon there will be no more Providence. You need to find an exit. Our business is done here, but it's far from over.